Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Learning Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video I'm hopefully going to be reviving this lead acid, uh, sealed lead acid battery. As you can see. So yeah, during charging it started to hiss uh, and it didn't charge. So we're going to attempt to fill it up since I don't know uh, if it's empty or if you have such a battery there will be most likely uh, some kind of cover on top and you need to remove that you actually might need to pry it off a little just uh, insert something flat under there and yeah just wag it out and you'll be presented with uh, six of these uh, caps so in this battery there are six cells with 2 volts per cell so a total of 12 volts and once you remove these things you might hear a little hiss when you do so let me zoom in for you you are greeted with yeah the internals of the cell and this is where you want to uh, pour some distilled water into to hopefully fill it up so yeah we can uh, use it again now the best method to do this is with a syringe but unfortunately i do not have a syringe so i'll just have to pour it in myself uh, all six and then yeah, we'll try to charge it and see what happens uh, this is going to be rather slow actually Please be careful since there will be uh, lead acid inside the battery. I think it's already full. So just put it back and move to the next one. Apparently it doesn't take much. Oh, there you go. Air bubble. I'm trying to squeeze out the air. Maybe if we knock on it a little. Well, there is something uh, in there that needs to be filled. Let me try and find something because this is going to take forever. All right, I do have some syringe tips, so maybe that will work if we pour it into the tip. Still bubbling. Alright, let's do something else. I've got an idea. Let's remove all of the caps. You know, as I said, a syringe will be a lot easier, but I don't have one, so well, I don't have a clean one. I do have one, but that's filled with flux. I don't think that that's a good idea. Let's just put some water up top in here until the whole area is covered. You can see the, uh, the water bonds doing its thing. There you go. Now just squeeze the Battery a little. Now there are massive air bubbles inside this thing. And they're blocking up the 
veel sport. So I'm hoping that just tapping works. Oh, it starts to work over here. Well, I think that it's enough. I think that they're full. So let's cap them all off. And let's try to charge the battery. First, let's clean this mess up. So now let's put the top cover back on here. And let's grab the battery charger that I bought. This battery charger is capable of charging various kinds of batteries, lead acid, AGM, gel and LiFePO4, which is why I bought it. So let's unpack it and let's use this to charge this bad boy up. I think that this charger has got various uh, modes determining what you actually want to do with the battery. There's a winter mode, yeah, AGM, standard, 6 volt. So, and interestingly enough, there's also an IP65 mode. Not sure what that is. So, let's connect these rather large terminals to the battery connectors. Make sure it's all nice and dry. So there you go. Now, let's see what it will do. 6.1 volts standard. So it's charging 16.7 volts. Wow. Maybe we should change the mode to freeze. I think it will be more generous now. With the current going in. Now previously there was a cell that uh, was going to vent. So I think that this might just work. Actually for some of the... Uh, I was about to say for some of the gaps the water was gone but it wasn't. Oh the uh, voltage dropped. It is still getting rather hot over here. I can hear venting going on in this cell. Damn. Okay. Well, maybe that's an idea. Charge with the caps off and put some water in it and then it will hopefully uh, soak up the water I guess if it's going to dispose all the gases that are inside here we might as well just use that to fill the thing up So, now if we turn it on, eight volts, there we go. So let's wait for this to continue. The voltage is quite stable actually. So that's a good sign. This isn't heating up anymore. That's also a good sign. I do think that this is... Huh. 
hydrogen but I'm unable to tell so let's wait for this to continue and we'll check back in an hour or so so uh, I've been charging this thing uh, for a while now and the bubbles yeah they're quite consistent but I know one thing for sure this is hydrogen Let's uh, get some more bubbles. Woo! Nice! So only hydrogen explodes like that. Let me continue to charge this battery. So... Uh, it's... You know, it's been sitting at around 8.5, 8.4, 8.5 volts, so I'm not sure if this battery will ever come alive again. It's great to be used as a hydrogen generator, as you just saw, but I'm not sure if it will be able to supply any power. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but again, I'll just try to, uh, to keep this going it, sometimes it the voltage rises and stays there at around 8.7 volts or something as you can see right now but then again it drops down to eight and a half odd volts and yeah you know so i think that this uh, will round this video up for now um, if i've got any further progress i'll for sure let you know down below in the uh, comments and uh, yeah, well, I hope to, uh, to see you guys in uh, one of my next videos. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.